OK, so in this problem, we want to find the coefficient of x to the 10 in the expansion of 1 minus 2x to the 5 times 2 plus x to the 7. OK, so what we want to do is we want to think about how can we get an x to the 10 occurring. So this bracket will have a constant term, a linear term, so an x to the 1, an x squared, an x cubed, an x to the 4, an x to the 5. This one will have a constant term, x to the 1, x to the 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. OK, so there's no x to the 10s in there, in either bracket. So the only way that you're going to get x to the 10s is by terms in the left-hand bracket multiplying with terms in the right-hand bracket. OK, now how can that happen? Well, you couldn't have an x value in here multiplying with an x to the 9 in here because there are no x to the 9s in here. This goes up to x to the 7. So you would need an x cubed times an x to the 7 in order to make an x to the 10. OK? So whatever the coefficient is of the x to the cubed in here, I want to multiply it with the coefficient of the x to the 7 in this one, and then I can work out the coefficient of the x to the 10 in the full expansion. But that's not the only way that it can occur, because I could also have the x to the 4 term in here multiplying with the x to the 6 term in here, and that will give me another x to the 10 term. I could also have the x to the 5 term in this bracket multiplying with the x to the 5, bracket in, uh, x to the 5 term in that bracket, which will make an x to the 10 term. OK, so actually there are three ways that I could get x to the 10 terms. OK, so there'll be three x to the 10 terms. So once I've found out those three coefficients, I want to add them all together, and then I've got my overall coefficient for x to the 10. So it's quite a long job, this, really, OK? But it'll teach us the procedural method to make sure that we can find each of those coefficients. OK, so let's see if we can find the x to the cubed term in this first bracket. So what we want is we want the Pascal's triangle, so that will be 5 choose 3 times by 1 to the power, well, I'm going to have to have it to the power of 2 in order to have this next term, the minus 2x, to the power of 3 to make a cubed term, an x cubed term. That will multiply with the x to the 7 term in that bracket. So I will have 7 choose 7, so 7 NCR 7, times, well, I want 2 to the 0 because I want x to be to the power of 7. OK, so this will give me my something x to the 10. OK, and I can work that out by multiplying each of these pieces through. So I've got the 5 choose 3. OK, so that's 10, times by 1 squared, so times by 1, times by minus 2 cubed, so that would be minus 8, right? So times by minus 2 cubed gets me minus 80, right? Don't worry about the x, I've taken care of that there. Times by 7 choose 7. Now, 7 choose 7 is just 1, times 2 to the 0, which is just 1, and the x's are all taken care of. So the first coefficient is minus 80 for that first one there. OK? Right, the second one. So we want the fourth x to the fourth term from that first bracket. So that would be 5 choose 4 times 1 to the 1 times minus 2x to the 4, because I want an x to the 4 term. Now, I want the x to the 6 term from the second bracket. So that would be 7 choose 6 times by 2 to the 1 times by x to the 6. 
Okay. So I've got 5 choose 4, so 5 NCR4, which is 5, times by 1 to the 1, so just 5 still, times by minus 2 to the power of 4, which is 80, the x is all taken care of, times by 7 choose 6, so 7 choose 6 is just going to be 7, okay, so that gets us to 560, times by 2, gets us to a 1,120, and the x is all taken care of. So 1,120 is the next coefficient of the x to the 10. Last one, we want the x to the 5s from both, both brackets. So the first one will be 5 choose 5. I'll have 1 to the 0 times minus 2x to the 5. OK, so that's my first one. Now the second one, I'll have 7 choose 5 times 2 to the 2 times x to the 5. So following the pattern down. So 5 choose 5 is 1. 1 to the 0 is 1. Then I've got minus 2 to the power of 5. So minus 32 times by 7 choose 5. And that gets me to minus 672 times by 2 squared, so times by 4, gets me to minus 2,688. So then all three of these x to the 10 terms are combined, added together, and so the coefficient that I'm looking for is equal to minus 80 plus 1,120, take away 2,688. So minus 80 plus 1120 take away 2688 gets me minus 1648. And that is going to be the coefficient of x to the 10 in the expansion of 1 minus 2x to the 5 times 2 plus x to the 7.